Hey guys, Paul here. So um, I'm making this video kind of candidly to talk about uh, my new and changing relationship with Yu-Gi-Oh over the years. You know, what I've done with the game, what I still want to do with the game. Don't worry, this is not one of those I'm quitting videos, so you can rest easy on that. But I did just want to talk about it in a sort of unscripted video. Uh, you guys can hear my thoughts. I'd love to hear other people's thoughts. You can share them in the comments after we're done. But basically, um, yeah, I've played Yu-Gi-Oh! for a very, very long time. And throughout, you know, my time making videos about it and going to events and just collecting cards and doing all these things, um, I feel like there's certain stuff that I, like, really wanted to experience in Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff that I still want to try to experience. And so I thought that this would be a great place to get it all together. Okay, um, I've more or less compiled this into, like, four sort of categories or labels or whatever. There's collecting, there's competing, there's contenting, and then a fourth one that we'll get to. So, um, first of all, I'll, like, let's talk about collecting, right? Um, right now, I have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I probably own something like 50,000 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, just off camera, you guys cannot see. Uh, we have, like, one, two, three, four, like, 15 boxes, just huge white cardboard, like, the BCW boxes that hold, like, five or 6,000 cards each. We, we might have, like, 50,000 cards here. And I've got so many of them, and I'm realizing more and more that that's kind of the part of my Yu-Gi-Oh collection that I would like to downsize. I've got a lot of cards. I always told myself, well, it's just, it's cool to have a load of Yu-Gi-Oh cards and like, you know, I'll be able to access any card I need as soon as I want it. And I might need them for a video one time. But that's actually something that I've been kind of trying to downsize. I recently, like a few weeks ago, went to the TCG Con event that was in Houston. Shout out to any fans and stuff that I met there. It was really cool. But um, I was actually able to sell a lot of my foil cards. I've got loads and loads more. But I was able to sell them and make some money to some vendors. And what I did with the money was not like just spend it on something else. I was actually spending it on maxing out the rarities of some of the other cards I own. Like right now I'm playing the Bank with Soul deck and I'm trying to get those all in like Collector's Rare and QCR and like the new Ultimate Rock of the Vanquisher, stuff like that. Um, and I have other decks that I'm trying to do that with too. So basically what I'm sort of doing is taking the decks that I really love, that's currently Bank with Soul. I like Rescue Ace. I like... Um, Labyrinth is fun, Exosisters, decks like that, and kind of trying to like max up the rarities of those few decks, but downsize the amount of binders that I have, the amount of bulk commons that I have. Um, a lot of that stuff is really difficult to store and really difficult to like just sift through. So that's kind of been my thing on the collecting front of cards. And you guys also probably know, I am a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan. I'm not just a card game player per se. So I've made videos where I've shown my entire collection, just all the different stuff that I've got. I've got all kinds of really neat things. Got the giant pot of greed, of course, can't forget about that. That sort of thing. Um, a few rare cards, different merch. I love getting like figures and all of that sort of stuff. So that's something I'm probably not gonna really slow down on. In fact, that's probably more of what I want to spend some of the money on loose cards that I don't have much need for on like kind of cool Yu-Gi-Oh um, paraphernalia, I guess is the word for it. And like finding stuff like that and displaying stuff like that. So yeah, on the Collector's End too, I have a few graded cards. I don't know how much I'm really gonna get into this, but I do have some really cool rare ones. I've got like the DDS Blue Eyes and the DDS Dark Magician, and like these are really cool special cards to me. I've got a few other cards that I would like to get graded. I've got like the DDS Exodia. I've got um, an Elemental Hero Air Neos, a card that apparently isn't ever gonna get printed anymore because of crazy Konami legal issues or something. Um, so I want to kind of have a collection of cards like that. I know grading is kind of a like contentious thing. I'm not trying to do it in a like, you know, sell everything way or like a, you know, stock bubble way. I'm not really into that sort of thing. But like, I just like to have a few rare, cool, like old school cards. I have an old school collection that I started last year where I'm just trying to get like a complete set of stuff from LOB and some of the older sets. Basically, I'm sort of leaning more into my childhood, like, memories of Yu-Gi-Oh! I want to have all of those cards, and I don't just want to have, you know, all of the bulk. So, um, yeah, to that end, if anybody ever finds any cool kind of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, old-school Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff, I've got some really weird things around here that I've gotten even since I did my collection video that I probably should make a new video to show you guys. Um, so, yeah, as far as collecting goes, that's kind of, like, where I'm at. Now, as for competing, uh, a lot of people ask me about, you know, like how much I compete in Yu-Gi-Oh! Or some people think that I don't do it at all or whatever. So I guess I should sh set the record straight on that. Um, I have played Yu-Gi-Oh! since like 2002. I started competing in tournaments, like seriously, I guess, in like 2008 or 9. I've gone to many different regionals. I have actually topped a couple of them. 
Um, I've gone to several different YCS events. Uh, I have not topped any of those. Um, and, you know, I feel like I've kind of gone through the competitive gauntlet of Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, that isn't to say that I'm, you know, some top-level player. Obviously, I'm not. But I also think that I'm kind of satisfied with what I've done in the competitive sphere of Yu-Gi-Oh and the way that I sort of approach it now. Which is that, you know, I can get really serious and play some really serious hardcore Yu-Gi-Oh when I have to. But um, it's not something that I really follow super duper closely. So I'm not, you know, religiously kind of following coverage of every single YCS. But I will always turn the stream on in the background when I can and kind of watch it. And also, sometimes I will decide randomly, hmm, I want to go to a regional. And so for the next week or two, I will just, you know, find a deck and practice super hard, go to this regional, see how I do. If I do well, great. It feels good. If I don't, it's okay. And then I'll kind of like take a break for another like six months. So that's kind of where I am with like competing in the sort of paper card game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, I have been finding that I like building paper decks more again. I'd gone on a bit of a hiatus with that just for the last few years, especially because of like Master Duel. I play that a lot, like to myself, but um, I have found that, you know, like with, you know, the Vanquish Soul deck I was talking about, um, building paper decks is fun, and like getting them in max rarity, decks I really like, and like playing them, it feels very fulfilling. I'm a very stubborn Yu-Gi-Oh player in that like I kind of like to play decks fairly pure, or I kind of like to, you know, push my luck with um, a deck I like as opposed to the very best deck in the game at a given time. Sometimes those two things happen to align, and maybe the deck I'm playing is a really good competitive deck, but that's not often the case. Um, and as for Master Duel, I mean, like I said, I play Master Duel a lot. I don't make very much content on it. That's something that I've kind of considered maybe doing uh, in the future. I don't know why. I guess I just, for me, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is kind of more of a personal treat. Like, it's something, it's like a private thing I just keep to myself. I'm pretty competitive when I play. I mean, I, I grind the ladder every season. I'm, I've been making Master Rank the past few seasons. I made Master 1, actually, last season, so that was really cool. But um, I know sometimes people want me to like stream that and stream the whole kind of process of playing. Uh, I, I don't think it'd be very exciting for people. Like I think people think that they would want to see it, but I don't know if they actually would because I wouldn't really be talking very much because I don't talk. I just like I'm like super zoned in, like razor focus. Um, you can actually get, I guess, a little bit of that with my match from that Yu-Gi-Oh quarter century celebration where I played against Paulo Gonzalez with Vanquish Soul, and, like, everybody, I was reading the comments afterwards, and everybody was like, oh my god, this duel is, like, so intense, like, Paul, and, like, Paul, like, not, neither of them were saying anything, they were just, like, focused in, and so I sometimes, I think, like, well, if I'm making content, I shouldn't really be like that, I should try to be more, like, entertaining, and talk to the chat, and explain the cards, and kind of announce the plays, but, um, it's really difficult to do that, and also, like, you know, play at your very best, and then you have to deal with all the other fun parts of streaming, like, live streaming kind of gives me anxiety, I'm always scared of technical difficulties, vaccine dueling is, like, you know, nerve-wracking, it's a bit of a mess, so I'm gonna see maybe if I can do a little bit more with Master Duel, sometimes I'll share, like, replays and stuff, like, that I really like, just really intense back-and-forth games, I'll share them on, like, Facebook or Twitter occasionally, so if you're not following me there, you can follow me there, and, um, and see, you know, some of the cool games. I also might reach out to some other YouTubers and just play some, like, fun Master Duel with them. That could be cool. And you guys have probably noticed I have done, like, live streams maybe, like, once a month where I'll just play a little bit of Master Duel. So I'm trying to work it in. It's a little bit difficult, a bit of a, um, a work in progress. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as the competition side goes. As for what's next for me in terms of competing, um... I, you know, they announced that Nationals is going to be in, like, Austin, Texas this year, which is fairly close to where I am, so I think I might try to attend that, but in order to attend that, I'll need to get an invite at some kind of a regional. I mean, you don't have to have an invite to play at Nationals, but, you know, it would be nice to. So I might try to go to a regional in, like, you know, April or May if I can find one in my area, so I'll have to get back on the grind and do the thing. But um, for now, I'm enjoying just kind of casually playing Paper Yu-Gi-Oh! I go to the shop sometimes, I go to, like, sneak peeks. It's all right. Uh, okay, the next thing is with content. So, again, this is not like a I'm quitting video, so you don't have to worry about that. I've actually got a lot of interesting content planned. I'm sort of just changing. It, it's like a dynamic process. I'm always changing what I want to do. When I look back at my body of work, it feels like I have uh, explored a lot of nooks and crannies of Yu-Gi-Oh! We've done so many different like, challenges, old school stuff, weird random like eBay decks. Um, we've opened like so many products and dueled with them, mystery boxes, and... Uh, you know, hot sauce challenges and everything, you know, battle tournaments, house tournaments, things like that. And I still want to do more of that. There's like a new speed duel set coming out that I want to play with and things like that. Um, 
it's sometimes difficult because, you know, like being a channel where a lot of the appeal is having a lot of different faces on camera means it can be difficult because like sometimes I'm not really able to have access to everybody at like the same time. Like the reason why we haven't been able to do series like Larry in the Hole, for instance, is just because, you know, Larry has a kid now and like he, you know, has like fathering to do. And so he just doesn't have as much available free time. And that kind of applies to everyone to different degrees. So it makes things a little bit more complicated. I am trying to find ways to, um, you know, change that. You guys have obviously seen a lot of me and Alec lately, so you'll probably see more of us, but we want to spice it up, find other segments that we can do. I want to explore, um, well, okay, so first of all, here's a teaser of some fun stuff that we've kind of got in the works here. I, uh, you can probably guess where these are going. Custom starter decks, or structure decks, something. It's gonna be cool. But also, I want to explore like Yu-Gi-Oh! video games some. I know a lot of people like playing some of the retro games, and they've announced that they're gonna be like re-releasing some of those. That would be kind of fun. I want to maybe like re-explore the anime in some way. Finding like content to make around that might be neat. It could be complicated. I know like copyright stuff with YouTube can be a little weird with like anime talk and stuff. Um, there is that one like Yu-Gi-Oh! Tubi movie that I, I want to react to with a few people. That would be fun. And you guys have also probably noticed that I've been getting into introducing people to Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I made the video with the two-player starter deck that I um, introduced my friends to. It did not turn out to be a very good starter deck. I'm sure Konami did not love seeing that video, but it doesn't change the fact that I don't think it was a very good product, so um, I will probably take a sequel approach to that. A lot of people ask for that, where maybe we can teach my friends how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! through Master Duel or maybe through Speed Duel and like see how they take to that. I think that could be really fun, so that's something that's sort of in the works. And um, I do still have some interesting skits that I want to try out, kind of a new approach to those. We have not done skits in like a very long time. It's just been so busy. And that's what a lot of people really like about Team APS. So I would like to get back to more of those. Um, and I think that's like pretty much it on the content front. I mean, I've never really been a person who does very much in a way of competitive content, but I do think that giving people some sort of onboarding or like accessibility content could be cool. You know, like what should you bring to a tournament? How can you kind of prepare your Yu-Gi-Oh mentality? Um, things like that could be really helpful. So if you guys want that sort of thing, I'm always very open to those sorts of ideas. Uh, so yeah, content wise, pretty cool. Maybe a little more live streaming, maybe a little more Master Duel, um, maybe a little more like teachy Yu-Gi-Oh content, and certainly some other cool segments. So, um, what else are they going to say? The final thing, because we have like three C's so far, right? There's collecting, there's competing, there's content. And the final one is, um, well, a mix of C's, but the biggest one probably being like commentary. That feels like the one thing in Yu-Gi-Oh that I kind of technically haven't gotten to experience yet. I technically did get to do it a little bit with the Master Duel deck flexing videos that we did with Konami last year. Um, I mean, those were kind of scripted and stuff, so it didn't really feel as organic. But I think that could be really cool, like commentating, um, maybe add a YCS if, if that works out. I'm not sure how that goes. Or maybe it could be something else entirely. It could be, you know, my own like hosted Yu-Gi-Oh tournament or something like that. I mean, I've done... So, so much other Yu-Gi-Oh stuff like the other C was going to be cosplay But then I realized I actually have done Yu-Gi-Oh cosplay before many of you guys don't know that but um I'm gonna make a video where I maybe like go over the I, I cosplayed with Pheromone um, He's the guy who's been doing commentary at YCS's recently. I cosplayed as Yugi and Joey and it was really fun and really cool Um, so yeah, I want to just see what more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff had like is is there and what's available to me and Explore as much of it as I can on this channel through videos with you guys and uh, yeah so, I did this all in one take. I'm really proud of myself because, like, I had a lot to talk about. I didn't really have any notes besides, like, literally just the four C's, like, written down on my phone down here. So, I would like to hear from you guys. Uh, what, you know, what's your Yu-Gi-Oh! journey been like? You know, if you've been playing this game for whether it's, like, you know, 25 years or 25, I don't know, days, what, a, what are the things you want to accomplish? Like, do you want to accomplish more competitively? Do you want to do more with content? Are you satisfied with your collection? What sort of things, like, do you want to get on that regard? Like, I don't think I mentioned this, but like with the collecting thing, they've been announcing a lot of really cool new Yu-Gi-Oh! figures, and I want to pick up some of those. Um, but on the competing front, you know, I'm kind of happy with my body of work, but sometimes I get a competitive itch. So it's that sort of deal. But even when I do, I still want to play like Yu-Gi-Oh! my way and things like that. So I would love to hear people's thoughts on this down in the comments below. The only other announcement that I have is that I have partnered with Whatnot, which is the sort of auction live streaming sale service where people can sell Yu-Gi-Oh things. I've got a lot of really cool Yu-Gi-Oh stuff 
that I will be auctioning off. I've got an extra like pot of greed collection. Um, I think I might be getting another one of these. There might be some sealed product involved. More details on all of that to come later on. But uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you guys soon in another video. I'm gonna try to get more of them out recently. That's one last thing too with content. I wanna get that content out a little faster. I'll see what the next thing is. Uh, it's been crazy. A lot of stuff to update you all on. I feel like I've gone on long enough. So without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. Bastard.